This is Emma Butcher reporting live for NSLC News. We're here at the National Science Learning Centre in York, where secondary teachers and post-16 teachers working in science have been drafted to work as CSI investigators, alongside real-life CSI investigators from Scotland Yard and the UN to investigate a kidnapping. Using crime reconstruction and practical exercise, they work as part of a team to develop learning and lesson activities to take back to their schools and colleges across the country. I'm now going to pass back to Emma across at the other crime scene. These teachers can be confident that this experience reflects the work of professionals as they use forensics as a motivating context. Students will be engaged in a topic that, they can, that can be applied to real life and they'll enjoy figuring out who done it. That was the spoof. Now it's time to cross to the laboratory where we'll introduce two of the course leaders. I have a 30 year law enforcement career background. I was a crime scene examiner with the anti-terrorist branch. Similar to Clive's really, I was a police officer in the Metropolitan Police for 30 years, again involved in the forensic aspect of major incident crime scenes. So Brian, who should be coming on this course and um, what will they get out of it personally? Well the course is designed for teachers and, and technicians as well who are teaching science at upper schools um, and middle schools. What will happen when they come on the course is with the forensic input we should be able to, they should be able to go away and translate crime scene experience into science in the classroom and that will enthuse the students to become more involved in the science subjects.